Hey, hi, hello everyone, it's Wonderhelm Games back with another video. And this one will do a um, second tutorial just on another function which is quite handy and it's a copy and paste. Um, so, when you have a building and you, like, if you're doing a tower, for example, like I've done a tower here inside a night, and if you want to make sure you want the same kind of design, um, but don't want to go through the whole process of having to rebuild it and make sure it's all exactly the same. Then you need to put uh, blocks to either side of the building, like you see here, at the top one end of the, of the tower, at the very top, and one down here. So we'll have to mark it. So you'll have your, your axe here, your world edit tool. Your first position is a left click around to the far side. And say what I've done is just come up out and came up and marked a block and then deleted the rest. So this block is above that, the highest point of your tower. So everything within this, mark this with a right click, that's your second position, so everything is highlighted within that section. And that's including the air blocks, but we'll get to that in a moment. So it's highlighted, but it's not copied yet. So let's say we want to copy it. But we want, to, we want if you copy it while you're up there, Bear in mind, if you stand down the floor and go and paste it, it will paste it down into the ground because it's pasting it from where you last were. So just be careful of that. So come to where you want the door to be, so this side of the building. And I would do it from here so that I know I'm at least one square away so I know exactly where it's going to go. So your command will always be double slash, copy. So that is now copy. 23,452 blocks copied, including air blocks. Okay. Now the only thing it will do is copy this wee pillar here of this wall because it's within the zone, but I can delete that. There's no worry about it. There's no worry. So let's say we come down here and I want, let's say I want it to be here. And I will go. Slash, slash, paste, enter, and there we are. It spawns right here. Now, as I said, it will copy them three of that wall because it was in the zone. But what we mean about the air blocks is look, the area around it has been taken out because of it. It's a big room for the air blocks. So if you ever want to put it near another structure, right beside a castle wall and you don't want the wall to disappear. First of all, I'll show you slash slash undo takes it away again and it puts that back again. But let's say that was a wall, right? And we wanted to make sure that that's untouched. So we stay, we stay here and go to paste negative A, which means it'll take out the air blocks around it and enter. So look, all the blocks are still here. So it won't affect anything that's right by it. So if you put it right by a big keep or a castle or a drawbridge and didn't want to affect it, that's what you do. Negative A. And then everything inside, and I see the, the ground will have, because we didn't do negative, we did negative A, um, it will take out the air box, but to say anything inside will stay the same as what it was, except for this here because of the way I kept the blocks, but that's just a showcase what you can do. So it's quite handy. So that's the best way to copy and paste. Now, if I do this again, just to show you, undo and probably work better on a flat surface, what we did here. Paste negative A. There we are. And then you can see it goes here. But again, because it's not in the flat surface, it's going to put it like that. But um, that's okay. That can be worked out. What we can do, let's say we go again. Undo. And this time we'll, not, we'll do it if you're doing it in an open area like this and you don't care about the air blocks. I'll go 
paste and anything nearby will be out, including the blocks that we were seeing there a minute ago. So they're all gone. So it's a handy tool because um, everything inside as well, as you can see, gets copied as well as the outside. So it means it's a very, very handy tool to build up one decent tower and say you want three or four of them to go around your castle and you want the exact same design. That's the best way to do it. So there we are. That's just to show, showcase what how you can copy and paste. There is other tutorials out there which I've seen. And basically if you ever want to keep that design, you can save it and use it in another world by saving it to a file and using it that way. So a lot of handy ones, especially pyramids. Uh, you can put a pyramid down and the thing is it will spawn on top of you. So you have to kind of dig your way out of it. But I'm sure there's ways around that. Um, there's ways of putting structures down, like putting in blocks with a fill command. Um, but you can hollow it out so that you don't have to, so if you want to do like the, the house, you can put it down and hollow it out so you don't have to worry about taking out blocks inside. So it cuts the time of building down by a good bit, so you don't have to worry too much. So you don't have to worry too much about um about well about that, about wasting too much time. You can get on with the building process and not have to worry about taking out several blocks and you know, so that's how you are. But that's just a quick video there showcasing that. Um, but if you find it helpful, let me know. And like and subscribe. And as always, we will see you in the next video. Bye.